Yesterday on Reddit, this post got sent out. The image in the post strikes a very similar vibe to the original Backrooms image. And in this video, I wanna break it down, kinda compare them and contrast them. And I wanna see if this is actually the real thing, if this is what it's based off of. Obviously, I make Backrooms style videos here on the channel, so uh, it's pretty fitting. And since the original 4chan post uh, about the Backrooms, way back like six years ago, the search for the actual location of the image has been going on without success. There are a couple of great videos trying to triangulate where it came from, like Kylie Sumper Tabagli's video, which I was actually in. Check it out. Like I said yesterday, on the Backroom subreddit, a new possible original image location might have been posted. And I think this is probably the most accurate image that we have that could be what the Backroom's image is based off of. I'm not sure if it actually is it, of course, but I think this is the closest we've come. And I say we, but I mean the person who posted the picture, but we works. Let me know if you think this is what the Backroom's image is based off of or something like this, or if it's not, I wanna hear all your opinions in the comments. Without more blabbering, this intro is already too long. Let's get into it. About 24 hours ago, on the Backroom subreddit, this post was made by user Headcrap0. I seriously believe that we might have found it. Original Backroom's image location. And linked in that post are these images of what seems to be some kind of furniture store with gray carpet, fluorescent lights, and the classic light walls that open up to another room. Off the bat, you can see the very innate similarities between this image and the original Backroom's 4chan post. Initial reactions of the image on Reddit from me and the other two people are varied. Some think that it literally is the image, some think that it's fake or AI, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get into all that right now. The first thing I noticed is that the two walls in the front are very, very similar in shape and in size uh, to the original picture. Also, the lights in the ceiling are around the same spot. It seems more likely that an image like this, or even if it is this image, could have been the original base picture with some edits done to it to get to the back rooms. If you didn't know, the original image is definitely edited in multiple ways. Color grading, overall emptiness, and glowiness, and all that stuff has been added to that original backrooms image to make it yellow. There's no yellow office building somewhere, of course. But when you look at these images side by side, you can really start to see the similarities poking out. And I'm about to go full MatPat mode on y'all right now, so buckle up and get ready. Put your tinfoil hats on. Placing these images side by side, let's note a few small details. Firstly, where the carpet meets the wall on the right side of the image, you can see that little tiny gap. Both images have that in the same spot. Also, in the door frame, where that little piece of carpet is missing on the right side, both images have that as well. Now let's take a look at the back of the image. As you can see, this little wall here, it sort of matches up with the backroom's image. Now, assuming the original picture was taken from a different angle, I could see how it could be the same as well. The lights on the ceiling here in this image are also very similar. They're in close enough places to where you might think they're the same. The only problem is there are more lights in this new image than in the back rooms image. As you can see, there's only one row of them in the back rooms, and there's obviously two or more in this image. Whether that's due to editing or whatever, we don't know. But the main section of lights down the middle are very close. Okay, so a little sleuthing has been done. Took the image into Photoshop, uh, as I do sometimes, and I zoomed up on this text here, and it was blurry, so I tried to make it as uh, crisp as I can, and I believe this says, Ask Sales Associate for Details. Meaning that this, vi this is not an AI picture. This is not AI, because I don't think it would be real text like that. Or maybe it is, and I don't know. But this right here says 12 months. 12 months. This is a markdown price. But this says ask sales associate for uh, details. This says uh, sale, sale, sale. And obviously there's red tag sales. I was hoping I could come up here and read what this text says. I'm not sure if I can. I can't deduce that, I don't think. Oh, it's so hard, I don't know. Okay, I've done a little bit more zooming up. This says something along the lines of wall art, home accents, and plastic trees are 30% off. And then in fine print, it says something about something 30% off retail uh, regular price. 30% off regular retail price. 
or something regular price and there's no branding so wall art and then the home accents and the plastic trees are 30 percent off this location and that is literally all i can deduce this just says 12 that says uh bex metal or something and i'm just zooming up to see if i can see any branding anywhere i'm not seeing anything at all not seeing anything at all but that's what i've been able to deduce that says but i think this image is real because you can't really see this unless you sharpen it so i don't think it's ai but that definitely says ask sales associate for details this says sale this says 12 months there's no branding though i can't find any branding to indicate a store which kind of stinks but but that's all i have for you when you reverse image search this that's a mouthful nothing comes up i've sleuthed for hours trying to find places where the tags and the sales things are the same the closest one i can find is sam's carpet and furniture this place is a uh, gallery you can kind of see i looked up their facebook the the closest thing i can find is this but even then i don't see the tags that are the same the sale signs are the same the wall colors are the same and i scrolled back to the beginning of their facebook this this is not the same it does have places like this though in the walls where you might be able to see that like entrance uh in entrance place but i'm not sure if that's it or not it's got different walls it's not the same oh it could be sam's carpet i don't know you can also reverse search this and you can find this exact bedspread this exact you know room set and it still doesn't come up with anything except from buddy's home furnishings which if you look at their page they don't have the same thing it's, it's similar but the lights are different the ceiling it's not the same although this little fake tree here they do sell plastic trees and in this image from buddy they have like a very similar fern thing here which is interesting to say the least i guess this picture could be maybe newer or older because it's the, the room's not the same layout the wall is kind of the same color but it's not the exact same and i don't see this lamp in it and it's in a different orientation of course but who knows? Okay, a little bit more sleuthing. As you can see in this image, there's like this massive sale going on. And I actually believe this sign back here might say moving sale. And if you go over here to Sam's uh, Carpet Furniture's website, it says warehouse rent lease expiring. Rent will go up 50%. We are reducing warehouse space by 50%. Super sale. Please visit our warehouse to see the unbelievable quality with sale prices, which does align with like all these things. I've never seen so many sales, you know? It's kind of crazy. They're red tagging everything. Could this be Sam's? Let's do some more digging real quick. So it definitely could be from Sam's carpet and furniture. If you look at the side by side here, you can kind of see the similarities in the ceiling, very similar tiles, very similar lights. And this little edifice in here kind of almost looks like the picture, right? Like that could be the entrance maybe, but the wall right there is different. It could be from the other side. This picture right here is from May 6, 2015. Okay, let me bring this into Photoshop real quick. If we, if we zoom up here, I'll put this side by side on the screen. The image might simply be taken from like the person is standing in this room facing out to this room. And this could be the furniture gallery. It might be. The picture that I'm showing you now from Reddit is probably a recent one, but you can still look in this room and you can kind of see in the ceiling how there's lights. And in the picture, there's more lights than in the back rooms. The only issue I see is that the lights might be facing in a different orientation. But if you're in here looking back in the original image, you can kind of see like this black um, side table in there. You can sort of see it there, but it looks very similar to say the least. It's the very same carpet, that's for sure. And there's a bunch of paintings and stuff on the wall in this one as well. I don't know, it's too tough to tell. It could be Sam's Carpet and Furniture in San Jose, California. In the OG backrooms picture, there's also a vent that looks like it's sticking out of the ceiling. And there's something kind of similar to that in this new image, except there's more vents here. And I don't really know why you would add more vents in a building if this was the same place and it's been remodeled. I'm not sure, but it's kind of the same. But now I want to get into some differences that stick out to me. Obviously, the famous uh, wall outlet in the backrooms picture, it's right there on the wall in the bottom right, and it is not there in this new image. And typically, you don't cover up wall outlets like that, even if it was remodeled. Although there are strange markings on the new image's wall that are in the kind of similar spot to where the outlet was, maybe they put drywall over top, I don't know. But the biggest issue, of course, is this back wall area. 
as you can see in the original backrooms image, there is a path that leads further away, kind of back into a different hallway. And in this furniture store image, there is just one solid wall there. Now, if this image is real, and if it's a recent picture, there could have been a wall put up over the years to close off that room or close off that hallway. That's not really a crazy thought. It happens all the time. American buildings are made out of cardboard. And if this is in America, I don't doubt it. Many houses, when they get remodeled, have different walls put up or different walls taken down. Not that crazy. Maybe they were putting a wall up to close off the room or to enhance traffic flow or whatever. I don't know. You can notice on the left side of both images that there is an offshoot hallway that kind of goes off into a different edifice. This is very visible in both. You can see it side by side. The only difference is that back area. And in the image of the back rooms, you can see how the light and the wall are the same distance apart as they are in this new image. They're almost identical. And if you put up a wall in the back rooms image, you get something that looks just like this new image. The person who posted this image actually added a couple more images of this supposed store that all have the gray carpet, the light walls, and is definitely very backrooms and It feels like an old furniture store that doesn't get much business. These images are very, very similar, and the OG image of the backrooms is definitely based on something that looked like this new picture. Maybe when it was being sold, maybe when it was being renovated, that's what it used to look like. That's why there's no furniture or things like that in the original backrooms image. If you empty out this new picture we have completely, and you take out all that furniture, and you just leave it bare bones, with some editing, with some color grading tricks, you can definitely achieve an image that looks very similar to the back rooms. Even the gray carpet right now has that same texture that the yellow carpet does in the back rooms. Walls are in the same place, and if you make it empty, it looks pretty dang similar. Now for the issues with this new image. There are zero exact results when you reverse search it on the internet. Nothing comes up for its origin, just Reddit and other furniture store looking things meaning it could be AI, it could be fake. The light here kind of sort of looks fake, like it's shining down in a weird way. However, like I said, even if the image is fake or whatever, it is actually probably pretty close to what the backrooms looked like before it was edited. If it wasn't this exact place, it was probably in another furniture store or something similar. And even if the image is fake, it might still help us find that original location, because like I said, it probably looked like this to some degree. Even if it's a render, even if it's Photoshop, it can act as almost like a police sketch to help identify the real location. You know, now that we have this image of something that's not so empty and so edited, we might be able to locate the original location of the image. Maybe somebody will recognize it and come forward. Maybe a company will recognize, hey, that's my store. Hey, that's my you know showroom. And they'll come forward as well. Because if you just show this backrooms image, it's been edited and doctored, no one's gonna know where it's from. But with an image like we have now, people might actually recognize it. It's, it looks real. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if some business came forward being like, yeah, that's my furniture store. That's, that's Bobby's furniture or something. I would be very interested to know what company or business or furniture store this is. And I hope that if it's fake, it kind of acts as a sort of guide so we can really figure out where it's from. But for now, I think this is the closest we're going to get to the original location or something that looks like it. Thank y'all so much for watching to the end. If you enjoy this kind of breakdown video, leave a like. I know I went kind of Matt Patty on there, like zooming up and connecting the red threads and stuff, but it was fun. I always enjoy stuff like this. I don't know if this was real personally, but like I said the whole time in this video and I repeated it a bunch, even if it's fake, it can still kind of help people find the original location by making it look more realistic. Obviously, you show anybody the back of his picture, they're going to think it's not real. But if you show them a picture like this, they're like, oh, yeah, that's uh, that's that store. So hopefully this works. Maybe that yellow area is what it looked like before this company bought it and remodeled it. I don't know. I'm not sure. If you're sure, let me know. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subs on my third channel, by the way. So if you want to get there before I do subscribe. I upload like morbid documentary style stuff once a week on there. I really try. It's kind of my passion project channel. I know I'm self promoting, but who cares? It's a good channel. Tell somebody you love them because life is too short not to. And without further ado and yapping, I'm going to end off the video here. Bye.